Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show some helpful tips for using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. In this episode, we're going to look at the main changes that appeared in Eugene version 111. A new options panel was added to the sequence view. The first tab of the panel, the information tab, contains interactive information about an opened sequence. For example, for a standard nucleotide sequence, it shows the length of a selected subsequence, the occurrence number of each nucleotide, and the number of each dinucleotide. The second tab is the Search in Sequence tab. Note that you can hold the Control key to open several tabs at the same time. The third tab allows you to manage the properties of a particular annotation type. For example, select a color. We'll select green. You can hide the annotations of this type temporarily, or you can show them on the translation sequence. Another feature that appeared in the sequence view in version 111 is search for qualifiers. Right click in the annotations editor and select find qualifier. Input the qualifier name, value, or both in the opened dialog. You can either search for the next qualifier or select all qualifiers and their annotations that match the specified pattern. The DNA graphs package has been improved. It is now possible to save cutoffs of a graph as annotations. For example, let's find all the regions with GC content greater than 70. Select 70 and click Save. The found regions are annotated with the graph cutoffs annotations. One improvement in the sequence view concerns the mode of opening multiple sequences. In the latest Eugene version, when you select several sequences, a dialog appears. In the dialog, you can choose to merge the opened sequences. In the new sequence, the original sequences are marked using contig annotations. Several new features and improvements also appeared in the assembly browser. The first new feature is a consensus sequence located above the reads area in the consensus area. For every position in the assembly, it shows the most common nucleotide. This feature is especially useful when a reference sequence is associated with the assembly. By default, the assembly browser dims bases equal to the reference by showing them in gray. So it's easy to track mismatches and possible snips. You can change the reads and the consensus sequence highlighting mode, for example, on the assembly browser settings tab of the options panel. Two algorithms are available for calculating a consensus sequence, a simple default one, and the algorithm from SAMTOOL's test alignment viewer, which pays attention to reads qualities and makes use of the extended DNA alphabet in conflicting situations. The consensus for an arbitrary region can be exported into any supported sequence format. Another handy improvement in the assembly browser is the support of bookmarks. To save an interesting location in an assembly, add a bookmark. After you have navigated to another location in the assembly, you can always return to the saved area by double-clicking the created bookmark. And finally, we're going to look at two new data flow elements in the workflow designer. The elements are called multiplexer and grouper, and in this sample schema, they are used in conjunction. The first element, multiplexer, allows you to join several data flows into one combined data flow. For example, in this sample, for all input sequences, we search for patterns specified in a text file. Different patterns are written line by line in the file. The grouper element in this sample is used to group the original annotations of the input sequences with the annotations found using the specified patterns. As always, we press the Run button on the toolbar to execute the schema. The results can be opened in the sequence view. In this episode, we have described only the major new features of version 111. To view all the implemented issues, visit our website. 
Feel free to contact us if you have any questions, and stay tuned for new episodes.